In this video, I'll show you how to create a table with data in Power BI Desktop. So I'm in the November 2024 version of Power BI Desktop. So as you see over here, there's no table in my Power BI Desktop. So to start with creating a table, what we can do is we can uh, go to Enter Data over here in the Home tab. Click on Enter Data, and then from the interface, I can create a table. So here I can create uh, using interface. So I'll just name it as table using interface, and then I can add multiple columns. So I can add one column, two columns, three columns. I can right click, I can insert a column over here, or I can delete this column. I can cut this column, and then I can paste this column. So I can do various operations over here. So let me call this as name, and I can put this as age and salary and i can start adding record over here so i can just type in my name i can put some age and i'll put salary right so this is how you can add a table using the interface so as you see over here like in once this table is loaded you should be able to see that record table using interface uh, it will create a connection in the model it will load it into the model with one record and the data will be added over here and you can see all the columns over here age name and salary if you go into modeling there is an option to click on new table but this time you need to write a dax expression to create that table so as you see over here i clicked on new table and then some different user interface popped up so here uh, i'll see it create a table with table name as table uh, three record three integer record so three record integer is the name of the table i'll just put equal to put opening and closing braces and here the data goes so i can put the numerical data so i'll say one comma two comma three and what it will do it will create a table with the name table three record integer one comma two comma three as a record so i'll just press enter and then as you see over here it has created a table with three record uh, and then there is a column named as value if you want to see the record going to the table view, you will see three records. So this is how we create. Uh, have, we have created two tables, right? Now, again, we'll be going to modeling, go to new table, make use of tax again. I'll just say table dates. So here I'll say I'll put some function, uh, like say I'll make use of a date function. So again, the syntax is similar. You just put uh, opening and closing braces and within that opening and closing braces, uh, we will just add the function okay so i'll say i want a date and now the date is say today's date so 2024 11 16 uh, and then this is that table with one record now if i want multiple record i can just go ahead and again add a record 2024 11 comma 17 so it will add two records of the type date if i press enter it will say table dates so i have misspelled the table name so i'll just write in table dates over here and as you see over here it is giving me syntax error because i forgot to close this okay so you need to properly close this function so once you close this function the error will go away once you press enter and then it will create a table with the table dates and if you want to see what record it has it has two date records okay Coming back again, going to modeling, click on new table. And this time we are going to generate a series. Okay, so this table uh, number series. So this is the name is table number series. And we'll make use of function called as generate series. So we don't want to add record manually one by one. So we maybe need to make use of generate series. I'll say I want to generate a record from one to 100. Uh, and I want to all generate all the odd numbers. So the increment value is two. So that means it will generate a table with the value 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, till 99, okay? And I'll just press enter. Just again, go back to the table view. As you see over here, it has generated all the odd numbers from 1 to 100 with an increment of 1. So that means it will show me all the odd numbers. Again, go back to modeling. Click on new table for the next record set. What we can do is we can uh, generate, say, uh, maybe uh, I'll just generate a one record with say value as uh, a5 or a6 or a7 okay so if I want to generate a number between 
uh, a5, a6, a7. Okay, so a will be constant. So I'll just call it as stable code. And this time I'm gonna use a function called as con, uh, say concatenate. Okay, so concatenate, what it does is it will. So let me add a function, say concatenate. And what I want to concatenate, concatenate uh, value a. Now, A will come from Unicare 65. Okay, so if I put Unicare 65, then it will generate A. And I want to concatenate a random number. So there is a function called as rand between. And I, I want to generate number between 5 to 7. Okay, so I'll say random number between 5 to 7. So it can be 5, it can be 6, it can be 7. So I'll just put rand between 5, 7. And this is my data set okay so make sure that you close the concatenate function so concatenate function is there and this is again if you make a change uh, if you see that there is a spell mistake so just say change that and then again press enter so table code is a table with the value a5 now in it okay so again if you go to table code over here if i just uh, say i want to see the number between 5 and 70 i make a change in the code go into the table view and now it has generated a32 so this is how you can generate and combine various different data types okay so again going back to modeling click on new table i can generate a date series now uh, say table date so how do you generate a date series so you use table date equal to generate series and then you need the start value and the end value so i want to generate a date series so i'll just say date and uh, i want a date from so you can put say date and i'll say i want a date from 2025 first jan and i want a date till so that's the end value so i want a date till say uh, 2025 and december 31 so i want the entire whole year date to be generated so i've used generate series function if i press enter go into the record i can see all the date created from 1st jan 2025 till 31st of december 2025 so this is how you can generate date series. Now, if you want to concatenate two strings, you we have used concatenate function, but there is an another way. So if I go to modeling, I'll click on new table and I'll just name this as two strings. And here, opening and closing braces, I have two words to be appended. So hello, and then another word is world. So if I want to append this, just put ampersand in between this and your value will get generated so as you see over here in the table hello world is a value so we have used append uh we haven't used concatenate function we have used just the ampersand operator now if i want to generate uh and append a lot of other data types i can just uh, expand this further hello ampersand world okay and then uh, if I want to have an another value, so I'll just say one, two, three. Okay, so a table can have a string as well as number as well as data, uh, date, data type. So it need not be specific to one data type. So one column can have various things. So if I just say comma one, two, three, if I press enter, then as you see over here, it has two record. Now it has a string record as a first row and the second record as numeric. Okay, so similarly, if I go back again to this uh, thing, I can put in another record, so comma, and then I will just type in now function. Okay, so now function will give me the date and time. So going back to the table, as you see over here, now this table has three records, a string, a numeric, and a date. So this is all possible. You can do that. Okay, so moving on, modeling new table. Now, we have used a lot of things to model a uh, new table using this DAX expression, right? Now, let's do something uh, a bit complicated, okay? Now, what if I want to use Power Query to generate a table? So, in order to do that, what you can do, again, go back to Home uh, and go to Transform Data. Click on Transform Data over here. And on the left-hand side, you should be able to create a query. So I'll just click on right-click, new query, and blank query. So this is the query which I'm going to write. So I want to create a table using Power Query. So 
if you want to create a table using Power Query, what you can do is in that syntax, so if you see in this bar over here, you just type in equal to hash table. So what do you want to generate? So I want to generate a table. I want to generate a table with one column, table with one column, comma, and what value I want. I want nothing in it. So I just put opening and closing braces. So as you see over here, equal to hash table, one comma, and then no value in it. Okay, let's see if I put some value in it. So if I just put value two in it, it will not accept that. So you cannot use that direct syntax. Okay, so just remember this syntax. So equal to hash table one comma, and then you have put some value in it, right? Now, this has just defined the schematic for it. Okay, so if I want a table with say 10 columns in it, okay, so as you see over here, it has added table with 10 different columns. Now, what if I want to add some record in it? Okay, so how do I add a record? So simple, again, we will just go back to blank equal to hash and table. So this is how you add a table. And here, I will say now I want one column. And now the record which I want, I will put opening and closing braces. Okay. And within that, again, I will put opening and closing braces. And I will say I want a value as Girish. And I'll put a comma over here, opening and closing braces. So let me put opening and closing braces over here. And this time I'll say open. Okay. So see the syntax. You have opening and closing braces. And then within that, whatever data you want, put that as an opening and closing braces, press enter. And then here you will see the name as Girish Upal. So it has created table with one column and two rows in it. So this is how you create this. Now, what if I want to create two columns? Okay, so again, it's simple. So I'll just copy the code from here. So I'll just paste this. And as you see over here, equal to hash table, first column, comma, second column, and then one comma, two, and three comma, four. So if I just press enter, as you see over here, first column, second column, one comma two three comma four one comma two three comma four and this is how you can create a table using power query so we have seen user interface we have seen uh, data creation using dax we have cre seen data creation using power query now let's make use of uh, something called as an advanced dax okay now what is an advanced dax so let me get rid of this so let me create a new query over here so I'll just create a new query. Now, in order to do something in advanced tax, you need to click on advanced editor. So if I click on advanced editor over here, it will give me an interface. It will show me an interface. And here I can write advanced tax. So it has given me that placeholder let source equal to something in source. Okay. So you can just replace this double quotes with opening and closing braces. And here you can start writing the value. Okay, so I'll just write Australia in double quotes. And then I will just type in France. And here I'll just type in UK. Okay, so let's source equal to in the opening and closing braces and in double quotes, three records, Australia, France, UK. Click on done. And then it will create a list with three records. So this is how you basically create uh, a table with data in using advanced stacks. Okay. Now there are other things which you can do. Like if you want to create something blank, okay. How do we create that? So go into the query, click on advanced editor. And as you see over here, let source equal to Australia, France, UK. I want the same structure. I'll put a comma and I want something called as a, a blank table. Okay. So I just want a blank table. So I just put blank table. Now there's not a syntax. There's just your variable. And you just say equal to hash table. And what do you want? You want the schema from the source, so source structure. And I don't want any record in it. Okay. And then what are you going to return? You're going to return uh, a blank table. So blank table. Okay. So as you see over here, this is the structure of the table which I'm using to create a new variable blank table. Uh, it can be any name. I just put blank table hash table referencing the source structure and then nothing, no value within that blank table. So I'll click on OK, done. 
and then as you see over here it has created australia france uk as the column base okay and with no record in it so this is how you can create a blank table so so that's it folks this is how you basically create a record within power bi desktop using various options like the interface dax uh, query dax expression and advanced editor dax formulas as well so i'll just close and apply and once you're done with this here you will see all the table which you have created using various uh, uh, tech now we have used various functions we have used uh, generate series we have hard coded the value so depending on your requirement so once you start with your power bi journey this functions will be will come handy if you want to put some sample data within the system thanks for watching